Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world watching today. Um, I just got this feeling, I just want to do some more stuff outside. The weather is, here in the UK at the moment, is brilliant. You'd have seen, uh, for those people who are on the Light and Harmony community, we did a, a live a spiritual chat last night. I started, the wind's picked up a bit. Um, but we did a live spiritual chat last night, it's really picking up now. Um, live spiritual chat last night, and it was um, it was beautiful, because we did it in, in, the, in the full super moon. Um, I've ordered one of those um, fluffy things to go on my microphone to try and dampen um, some of the wind um, but uh, for some reason as soon as I started it picked up so if you're getting some wind that's okay this is raw this is authentic this is real so I'm out my back garden at the moment you see in the background there if you can you can see the sea and further on in the sea you can't really see it at the moment because there's a haze is England for those people who want to know where I live I live in a place called Roos R-H-O-O-S-E in the Vale of Glamorgan in Wales so you can Google it and you can probably find out where I am because uh, I think it's important to contextualise where we are. You may have seen now, we're on day 21, you may have seen that there's been many ups and downs in this video diary uh, and some days, pff, I don't know how I did it, but today I'm feeling good. Um, I'm out in the garden, I'm going to be doing a lot of gardening today. I've got a bit of work to do spiritually and then I'm going to get out in the garden and start to uh, tidy things up and I'm going to have a nice fire this evening and sit down on my back with a nice fire and a nice glass of red wine because I think I deserve it so where are we with mindfulness well we've done lots and lots of things we've done we spoke at, you know at length about our relationship and our 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 you know how we're handling emotions and loneliness and fear and anxiety and all of these things and I want to just talk today about before we go we're going to do a body scan okay but I want us to talk today about no magic wand all right and what I mean by that is a lot of people throw away things like mindfulness or meditation because they did it once and it didn't work. They did it once and their world didn't change. They did it once and well, that's not for me. Well, the reality with all of these things is what we practice is what we grow. And we've spoke about that at length. But mindfulness isn't just about meditation. Mindfulness is about you being present. It's about being in the moment. It's about when I come out the garden, just sort of sitting and looking at this beautiful willow tree this willow tree here lived in my mum and dad's back garden and when they passed away um i thought i'd try and see if i could dig it out bring it over to my garden and put it in my garden and when i brought it here it, it actually i thought it died but it hadn't and it comes back every year it's beautiful so that's my mum and dad's tree it's pretty special never thought about that actually because i'm actually sat behind it so which is really nice but you know if we wanted to look at this tree mindfully then we could just sit with it You know, I could look at the different shades, the different colours, the different textures, the way, the way in which it's moving in the wind. You know, I could try and switch the focus so we could maybe get the, get the tree in focus. We can look at this part of the tree. There's a little ladybird on there, I think. But, you know, we can look at things mindfully. So let's just spend a moment or so just looking at the screen. I'll try and get out the way a little bit and just, just look at the tree. But do it mindfully, breath to breath, moment to moment. And what do you see now that you didn't see before? Can you hear the birds? Probably hear the wind. But just focusing on that tree for a moment. You see, this moment is now is all we have. And when we focus on that and we anchor ourselves to our breath and just look at the tree, we stop all of that chatter in our mind. The narrative that is there to put us on edge, to keep us sharp, to keep us alive which was great a thousand years ago. Don't need it so much today. Just sitting and being with a tree. Listening to the wind as it blows, my voice may become distant or crackle or not be perfect. That's okay. 
Everything we do isn't perfect. Does perfect ever exist? It's like saying everything's complete. Don't need it to be perfect. We love everything just the way it is. From moment to moment. Still sit with the tree and just focus on the tree and is there something else you've noticed that you hadn't noticed before? Paying attention mindfully. Being in the moment. Can you hear different sounds in the background? As the wind subsides. The sun on my face is beautiful. Just spending time here moment to moment. Just going to go quiet for a few moments now. Just keep looking at the screen. Just keep breathing. In and out. But just be present with what you see in front of you. See what you're seeing, what you're hearing, and what you're feeling at the moment is the moment. And if we have a thousand thoughts to rise, we put the welcome mat out a thousand times. We turn to face those emotions. And we stay with them from moment to moment until they just disappear. Our thoughts are real, but they're not true. We treat good thoughts and bad thoughts just the same. We hold them with loving kindness in a way that is so beautifully profound. We're just being. It's not about getting better. It's not about having less thoughts. It doesn't matter how many thoughts you have. We just come back to our breath. Come back to our anchor. Come back to where we are. Moment to moment. Changing our relationship with fear, anxiety, stress, loneliness. And we can sit in the comfort of just being by ourselves in the moment. Appreciating and loving every moment. And as you look again at the bush behind me, the tree, the willow tree, your awareness makes you aware of something else. It's quite beautiful. So that was just being mindful. There's no, you know, there's no mystery to it. There's no magic to it. There's no magic wand to it. It wouldn't have saved a thousand lives in that moment. But what it has done is given you that break from that mental chatter. Being able for you to embody yourself with loving kindness in a way that is so fertile, is so special, we can just cultivate those feelings just dropping in in the moment embodying ourselves in the moment being present in the moment from breath to breath I hope by now you know some of the myths that we talked about in the earlier episodes are by the by now 
and that we can truly we don't have to be perfect we don't have to quieten our minds we don't have to have no thoughts we don't have to what we do like to do and what we're trying to cultivate is the relationship with the whole awareness around us our relationship with ourselves our relationship with others our relationship with nature our relationship with everything so today what I'd like you to do we're going to do the body scan in a moment but what I'd like you to do today is just at some point and we cultivate this how many times we do it we just do it once today if you want is just if you can sit out the garden sit out the garden and be in the moment Set a timer, you know, insight time is brilliant. You can set it for 10 minutes. Just sit there for 10 minutes. If you haven't got a garden and you're inside, you must have a window. Just sit in the window. And don't worry about people looking or whatever. We're in, we're in uncharted times. This is your moment. You can do what you want. Stay in, stay safe, save lives. But be in the moment and enjoy it. Let's do a body scan. Let's really connect into ourselves, to all different parts of our body. And whatever rises, whatever motion arises, if we start crying, if we don't start it, it that's, that's perfect for us. Whatever happens in this body scan now, it's like this wind. It's really probably breaking up. But it's what's happening. It doesn't matter. I don't have to edit it and for it to be perfect. It's already perfect. It is what it is from moment to moment. So spend 10 mindful moments outside of the body scan today. But in the body scan, let everything rise. Let all of your emotions rise. Let everything rise. Let everything come to the surface. And when it does, if you have a thousand emotions, you bring it back to your breath and put the welcome mat out a thousand times. A thousand and one times. Be present. Be moment. Change your relationship to it. And have a lovely day. Enjoy the body scan. I'll be back after. Now the body scan is very much, we're going to go right the way through the body, we're going to open it all up, and we're going to see what emotions come out. Okay, and then, you know, you can send me comments or whatever it is if you want to tell me what happened to you or whatever the scenario is. So, again, what I want you to do is get into this, you know, very comfortable position, all right? I want you to be comfortable and not too relaxed. Uh, this meditation, all meditations, are about falling awake, not falling asleep. Okay, so it's comfortable rather than relaxed. All right, so get into that comfortable position. All right, I want you to close your eyes. Okay, I want you to close your eyes and I want you just to follow my breath. Follow my voice, sorry. Okay, just follow my voice. Again, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to be aware of your breath. So the mindfulness meditation that we've done just a few moments ago, I want you to do it again. So sit in the posture. Breathe and feel the point of your breath and then just breathe. Out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And as I've said before, if you have any thoughts that come into your mind, acknowledge them, breathe them in, acknowledge them, hold them, accept them, and then breathe them out. Breathe them away. Okay? So you're sat now and you're going to focus on your breath. Breathing in and breathing out at that point of contact where your breath, you feel it. It's on your shirt or whatever it is. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Now what I want you to do is I want you to find your own natural rhythm. Okay, your own natural breathing rhythm. All right. And I want you to be now comfortable and warm and you can sit in this position. But your eyes now have closed gently. And I want you to take a few moments Again, just to get in touch with the movement of your breath and the sensations in your body. Just sit and follow my breath, follow my voice. You're breathing in and you're breathing out. Now, as I said, you may be feeling some sensations in your body. When you're ready, bring your awareness to the physical sensations in your body especially the sensations of touch or pressure if you like where your body makes contact with the chair or the bed wherever you are 
on each out breath, I want you to let yourself go. So you can feel when you're sat in the chair or you're laying on the bed, you feel those points of contact. You're breathing in, you're breathing out. On every out breath, as I said, I want yourself to go. I want you to sink a little deeper into the chair. I want you to sink a little deeper into the bed if you are. Remind yourself of the intention of this practice. The intention is to let all of your stress, your emotions, your fears to go. It's a name not to feel any different, relaxed or calm. This may happen or it may not. But instead, the intention of this practice, as best you can, is to bring the awareness to any sensations you detect. As we focus on each part of the body. Now bring your attentions to the physical sensations in the lower abdomen. Becoming aware of any changing patterns or sensations in the abdomen, in your stomach wall. And as you breathe in, and as you breathe out. Take a few moments to feel the sensations as you breathe in, and you breathe out. Having connected with the sensations in your stomach and the abdomen, bring your focus or spotlight of your awareness down the left leg. So slowly your focus and awareness is going through the top of your thigh, through your knee, through your calf, into the left foot, and out of your toes on the left foot. I want you to focus now on your breath, on each one of these toes, in the left foot in turn. Bring in a gentle curiosity to investigate the quality of the sensations you find. Perhaps noticing the sense of contact between the toes, a sense of tingling, warmth, or no particular sensation. When you're ready on an in-breath, feel or imagine the breath entering the lungs, passing down the abdomen, into the left leg, left foot, and out to the toes of the left feet. Then, on the out-breath, feel or imagine the breath coming all the way back up, out to the foot, into the leg, up through the abdomen, in through the chest, and out through the nose. As best you can, continue this for a few breaths. breathing down into the toes and back out of the toes. It may be difficult to get the hang of this practice. This is just breathing into things as best you can, approaching it in a right way. Now when you're ready and out breath, let go of the awareness of the toes and bring your awareness to the sensations on the bottom of your left foot. Bring in a gentle, investigative awareness to the sole of the foot, the instep, the heel. And notice in the sensations where the heel makes contact with the floor or the bed. Experiment with breathing with the sensations. Being aware of the breath in the background, as in the foreground you explore the sensations of your lower foot. Breathing in. I'm breathing now. Now allow the awareness to expand into the rest of the foot, to the ankle, to the top of the foot, and right into the bones and joints. Then taking a slightly deeper breath, directing it down into the whole of the left foot. And as the breath lets go out on the out breath, let go of the left foot completely, allowing the focus of awareness to move into the lower left leg, the calf, the shin, the knee, and so on in turn. Continue to bring awareness and a gentle curiosity to the physical sensations in each part of the rest of the body in turn. To the upper left leg, to the right toes, to the right foot, to the right leg, to the pelvic area. Into the back. Breathe in through the abdomen. Make a point of contact to your chest and your fingers, your hands and your arms. 
your shoulders, your neck, your head and your face. And in each area as best you can bring the same detailed level of awareness and gentle curiosity to the bodily sensations they present. Breathe in and breathe out, through your fingers, through your hands, through your arms, through your shoulders. And when you become aware of any tension or other intense sensations in particular part of the body, you can breathe in. Acknowledge that emotion in turn, hold it, breathe out and let it go. Using the, using the in-breath gently to bring awareness into these sensations and as best you can have a sense of letting them go or releasing them on the out-breath. So as you work yourself all over your body, if you feel any emotions, any feelings, breathe them in, accept them and breathe them out. Your mind will inevitably wander away from the breath and from the body from time to time. That is entirely normal. It's what your minds do. When you notice it, generally acknowledge it, noticing where the mind has gone off to, and then gently return your attention to the part of the body you intend to focus on. You breathe in and you breathe out. So take that time now to go through all parts of your body. On your right leg, right thigh, right knee, right down through the calf, through the foot, through the sole, and through the feet, through the toes. And now you're connected with your right leg. I just want you to breathe in and see if any sensations or emotions or anything comes to the surface. If it does, we're going to breathe it in. We're going to acknowledge it. And we're going to breathe it out. We're going to let it go. And as we let it go, we let go of all of our energy that we don't need, any negative stress, anything in those parts of the body, we're going to let go. And you need to scan the whole of your body. And after you scan the whole body in this way, spend a few moments being aware of the sensation of the body as a whole. And of the breath freely flowing in and out of the body. If you find yourself becoming too relaxed and falling asleep, you might find it helpful just to prop your head up with a pillow. You may also want to do it with opening your eyes, practice sitting up rather than laying down. And you could adjust the time spent in this practice by using larger chunks of your body to become aware of spending a short or longer time with each part. The body scan is about you going through each part of your body, breathing in, finding any emotions, anything, and breathing out. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Okay, so that's um that's a practice that we use the body scan in it. So it'd be interesting to see, you know, what arose, what, what came up. If you want to share your feelings, if you want to share your emotions, if you want to share, you know, what rose, then just tell me. You can put it in the comments section. You can email me, julian at lightandharmony.co.uk, julian at lightandharmony.co.uk. Day 21. Who would have thought it? I'm going to go back over them all, and I'm going to look at them. It's, going, it's a great video di diary. You know, my wife's doing yoga today. It wasn't that long ago. Do you like my Harry Potter mug? Hogwarts. It wasn't that long ago. She was struggling to breathe. Today she's doing yoga. And a lot of that is down to you guys and your ability to help her heal. I'm just going to see if I can zoom in on that. Can you see my Hogwarts mug? 
There we go. Property of Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So yeah, so she's out and about doing yoga. So, you know, these things come and go and we've been blessed and we've been lucky and a lot of that I think is down to you guys sending love and healing. But anyway, as always, today, this morning, put your hand on your chest and say, good morning, Julian. I truly, truly love you. Good morning, Julian. I truly, truly love you. Stay safe, stay home, save lives, be love and give love and I'll see you on day 22. Don't know where I'm going to be. I do, I'm going to be in my house somewhere. But anyway, it was nice to think of that. God bless you. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.